here's a story I'd like to share with uh, you guys and gals, and um, it actually turned out good. It's one of those good stories. I sent my wife down. I shouldn't say I sent her down. She wanted to uh, take my truck down to pick up some of these large pavers, and of course, um, I wasn't going to argue with her. So she went down, and here's what she came back with. I mean, this is about a ton and a quarter to a ton and a half of um, flagstone, and I can't uh, can't even imagine that this much weight fit in the back of my truck. And as you can see, it's not even braced off. The, she left the material yard without uh, any braces and drove real careful um, all the way home. And of course, I'm kind of shocked that they let her leave the material supply place like this. Um, but uh, this is what happens, and that's why I'm making this video, just to point out to some of you folks that um, don't really have an idea what something like this um, could be like, how dangerous it actually is. First thing I'd like to point out is as long as this material is banded up, then it probably isn't going anywhere. However, the black arrow is pointing to a 2x4 that I slipped um, behind in between the lumber rack and the materials and the reason why I did this is because if I didn't put anything here if I didn't brace up this load when it fell who knows where it could have fallen to now as you can see here's the 2x4 again and um, the, mater the bands haven't been broken yet I've just got the 2x4 wedged in there where I wanted it. Now I need to make sure that these rocks aren't going to fall forward too. So I needed to take one of the bars on my lumber rack and slide it as far forward as I could um, to keep them from falling through the back window of the truck. Now to do that I needed to put some straps on. I needed to somehow get this thing to where it wasn't going to move um, and still allow me to unload it um, one piece at a time. Now, mind you, each one of these pieces were extremely heavy also. I had a pretty good idea once I seen um, the shape of my truck exactly um, how much weight was in the back of it and how much this stuff was going to weigh, but really had no idea this was what she was coming back with. Once I had everything right where I wanted it, I went ahead and broke the bands. And, of course, here you can see that the flagstone didn't fall forward and break the back window of my truck and it also didn't fall scatter all over the place um, it's basically leaning up against the side of the truck and ready to unload and of course the next picture provides you with um, a good idea of how it was unloaded just one piece at a time I started very carefully and again it wouldn't be a bad idea if this is the first time you're not familiar with any of this stuff working with it wouldn't be a bad idea to put more braces and more supports just in case um, you know you're not comfortable it's always a good idea to put as much put as many supports in as you possibly can if you haven't worked with this stuff before or or even seen someone else work with it and again I haven't worked with this stuff a lot but I had a pretty good idea how heavy it was now before I go, I'd like to share a story with you, another story that really doesn't relate to this, but something that happened to someone I worked with. They were actually carrying a pallet of concrete blocks home in a truck like mine. They just put the pallet in, and it wasn't strapped down or nothing. It was just in the truck. Well, he was driving down the street. A car pulled out in front of him, and he had to slam on his brakes. Well, guess what happened? The blocks went through his back window hit him in the back, almost knocked him out. It didn't knock him out. And um, and they were all over his front seat. Now, luckily, it didn't break his front window, but it uh, did a lot of damage to the inside of his truck. And again, these are things we really don't think about as do-it-yourselfers. Um, you know, uh, you expect a, co a contractor, a professional to know better, but this isn't going to be the case either. And a lot of you out there know what I'm talking about. Um, and another thing that I'd like to point out is just because you're at a building material warehouse or you're at a home improvement center, do not expect the people there to be looking out for your best interest. You will need to look out 
after yourself and it's videos like these that will um, help you figure out what you need to do and again if you're going to pick up a um, load of materials that is extremely heavy like this one make sure that it is secure as secure as possible with as many straps rope whatever it takes before you leave the property